Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another Fear the Walking Dead video. I guess it's sort of Fear the Walking Dead. This one is about Morgan, and I guess this technically would pertain overall to the Walking Dead universe, and that is, it kind of seems like Lenny James may be done as Morgan, and the character story may actually be over here in Fear the Walking Dead Season 8. Like, there was an interview where he discussed the future of his character, and he clearly says that he's done. Like, he is done as Morgan Jones. So, I want to get into that, so before we go any further, obviously, make sure to be a subscriber if you do want to get all my walking to content like this and definitely go follow me on twitch my channel name is appetite for the dead i'll be live there later on today now i got this article here from uh cbr.com it's actually an exclusive to them i'll leave a link down below if you want to go check out the article there's actually a lot more there if you do want to get into it like there's a, quite a bit of stuff there it's a really fascinating read i definitely recommend it the article was done by katie doll and um yeah it's, it's definitely a really great read now i saw there was a, a another article i guess talking about it from cbr and this is the exact quote right here. It says, this is it for me, James told CBR in an exclusive interview regarding his character, Morgan Jones. He's been around long enough for me to pick up the stick again. It would have to be an amazing storyline. It would have to be a situation where I couldn't look back on all the episodes that I've done so far and go, no, I did that in episodes such and such, in seasons such and such. I'm not interested in repeating myself with Morgan at the moment. I think it would kind of slightly tarnish his legacy. It does seem like Lenny James could be done as Morgan, you know, and that's what's kind of, I guess, a little shocking to see this, you know, like, and I'll talk about it right away. I'll talk about how he could maybe return in some way, and I'll, I'll sort of break down the comments a little bit, but focusing on the aspect of, you know, maybe he's done, you know, when I look at Morgan as a character, I guess it depends on what we get. I will say, you know, watching episode one or having watched episode one of Fear the Walking Dead, it, it is definitely very noticeable how much Morgan is a big part of it. Like, they do focus on Madison as well. I do think they balance the lead character part of it really well. Well, but in terms of Morgan's story, there definitely is, you know, there's elements, there's actually a scene in, in general where I can't believe he actually did that. I can't believe that's actually there because that's a season one reference. And so to actually see that, yeah, the focus of Morgan's story this season seems to really be, you know, set on the past and set in, in his origin to the Walking Dead universe. And so it depends on what happens here. It really depends on how you end his story, but maybe he's right. Maybe it's better to just leave it here, right? It, it's, it's one of those things that is it is hard to say with the character it's and it's not even necessarily with the character you know it's a lot to do with, with the actor because with Andrew Lincoln I feel like that was sort of the big part there right like when you're an actor playing a character you you, you know you fall in love with the character and you're trying to find reasons to or you usually have a reason or two why the character's story should continue there's certain things you want to see play out and then when that part of of that you know sort of ends you're you're in this place where you're like well I don't know if I if I need something else and especially if that storyline was there for years right or if that motivation for the character that drive for that character was around for years once that drive is gone you know you got to find a new purpose and you might not be there like mentally and obviously things are different too because if you're on a successful show you know financially you might be really fine and so you might just want to go do other roles because you might feel satisfied with what you did with that character and, you know, you're happy to see the end to that character's story. And I bring up Andrew Lincoln because Rick Grimes' story for the longest time really was just keeping Carl Grimes alive, right? Like, just keeping your family alive, keeping Carl, like, everything was for Carl. And obviously, you know, once they decide to kill the character off, it was basically, like, that was it. You know, I, I really feel like Andrew Lincoln felt like, well, I don't really have anything else left to do. Like, I, obviously, there's Michonne and there's Judith, but they weren't Rick's, you know, main focus and drive to you know, to survive and throughout the entire series. Carl was there from like day one, literally from day one, right? Like that was, that was Andrew Lincoln's drive on the show for the character. It was, you know, fighting to survive for, for his son, right? And then once his son was gone, yes, he still had a family with Michonne and, and Judith, but I feel like they sort of serve as an epilogue for the character in that sense, right? Like I fought so hard to keep them alive and it's tragic that they both died, like Laurie and Carl, but I do still have a family. I still, you know, it's a different family than I than I had when this all started, but their presence is still felt. I'm still happy. I have this like, wonderful, amazing family. And that's what we see a lot in season nine, right? It was sort of redefining Rick's family and redefining 
the Walking Dead family in that sense. And I think that last episode of Rick's really does that well. I think that that we see Rick really, you know, just like come into his own and realize what is so, so important. And the focus really went away from Carl and it became more about Michonne and Judith. That's the thing. You know, you see Rick now, like Andrew Lincoln is coming back to play the character it really feels like now his focus is Michonne and Judith, and eventually he's going to find out about RJ, which I'm so excited about. I Honestly, I cannot wait for Rick to find out about RJ. Like, he doesn't even know that he has a son. Like, that's crazy to me. So my point with this, you know, in, in general, really is just that Andrew Lincoln, you know, playing Rick Grimes now, like, he needed another reason to play the character. There needed to be something there that just made a lot more sense, right? Like, it couldn't have been just about Carl. And, you know, there's Michonne now. Like, Michonne is such a big part of it. You know, the Rick and Michonne show, I think that's why he wanted to do that so much, right? And then there's obviously Judith. There's his family. There's reuniting with everybody. So there's there's that big part to it. And I think for Lenny James, that's what you need for the character, right? You need some type of other motivation in a sense. There's got to be something there for Morgan to do some other type of purpose that is going to be satisfying for Lenny James to want to play that character again. And so when you read the, the comments here, let's go back into the comment here, or the quote, uh, this is it for me, uh, Lenny James said, and then, yeah, it just it picks up with, he's been around long enough for me to pick up the stick again. It would have to be an amazing storyline. It would have to be a situation where I couldn't look back on all the episodes that I've done so far and go, no, I did that in episode such and such, in season such and such, I'm not interested in repeating myself with Morgan at the moment. I think it would kind of slightly tarnish his legacy. So to me, when I read that, first of all, I think that kind of confirms that he should survive the season, right? Like he's kind of talking about the role as in, if I were to come back, it would have to be something really amazing. Like if, if the character died, it would be pretty definitive. Like there would be no way for him to come back, right? So I'm guessing Morgan's ending on the show, you know, doesn't end in death. I believe he'll probably have some sort of happy ending, maybe bittersweet ending. There should be something there, but I don't think he wants to repeat himself again. I I, I feel like what that really means is if he's going to do anything else with Morgan, I feel like he wants Morgan to be on the Rick show, basically, right? Like he wants to do more exciting stuff with the character. He wants Morgan to be interacting with Daryl or with Negan. He wants there to be like this other type of story there. That, you know, it's just a lot more fun, a lot more exciting for the character. And I, I do agree, like, if they were to do a Fear the Walking Dead Season 9, or if they were going to do a spinoff with, with Morgan and Madison or something, like, to me, it would just be the same thing, right? Even if they were to do a spinoff with Morgan, like, just solely on the character, and they titled it The Walking Dead Morgan Jones or something like that. Like, it would basically be a story a lot like Fear the Walking Dead. So... I, I kind of get where he's coming from. I feel like, you know, I don't know if this is a contract thing, but I feel like he's really putting it out there that I don't really want to do the same type of stories with this character like that again. I really don't like, and this is just sort of how I'm interpreting it, but I feel like he's kind of like, well, if I'm going to be in this at all, it, it's going to be in maybe one of the other spinoffs like Dead City or the Daryl Dixon spinoff or the Rick and Michonne spinoff, right? And I kind of agree with that. Like, I think Morgan is at a point where, like, what, are we just going to get another storyline that would technically just be Fear the Walking Dead Season 9? You know, I don't think us fans really want that at this point. I, I, I want Morgan and Dwight and Sherry to start to interact with some of the Walking Dead characters again. And so I kind of overall agree with what he's saying here, you know? If they're not going to do that with the character, then there's just sort of no point. And based off of where they're going here in Season 8, you know, some of the queer references, they're going back to King County... Like, this is really cool stuff, and it makes sense to end the character's story in this way, where you're sort of ending it on top. And if you were to play the character again, you know, do it in a way where the character would actually be, you know, interacting with Rick, or there's some other purpose, right? Like, I could totally see Lenny James coming back if it meant that Morgan found out that Rick was captured, and he has to go and try to uh, help him, you know? I think he would totally come back to do that, because there's a lot more purpose there, it's a bigger storyline. Um, I just think it would be a lot more exciting, a lot more fun. That's the thing, you know, I don't know if that's sort of in, in the plans right now. I, I don't really know what's happening, right? Um, I mean, I will say, though, I don't see them not ever, you know, doing anything with the Morgan character. And that's the thing, too. When you read what he says, 
it really is very much like I don't want to be doing the same thing. Like if I'm going to play the character again, it has to be something that is going to be very exciting, right? Because I, I remember Jeffrey Dean Morgan saying that like he was sort of in his mind, he was kind of done playing Negan. He was just like, yeah, you know, this is it. We're going to end this character's story. It, it is what it is. And then he got the Dead City script and he read it and he was like, oh, I have to do this. Like, this is so exciting. This is so cool. And for a lot of us, you know, reading those comments, I was like, well, you know, people can say that, whatever. But now that we've seen the trailer for Dead City, I totally get it. Like, yeah, you, you get a script like that. If you're visualizing what the story could look like, obviously you want to be a part of that because Dead City is easily the coolest thing The Walking Dead has done in years. Like, it's, it's so, it's not even debatable. Like, throughout all of season 11, all of season 10, um, even season nine, even though there was some cool moments with the whispers and beta, there was definitely some really awesome moments there, especially with Rick blowing up the bridge, some really cool moments there. But like seeing that Walker at the end of the dead city trailer and, you know, Maggie having to fight that, um, the zip lining and some of the cool environments and the lighting and just the, the city element to it. Like, this is the coolest thing the walking dead has really done in a long time. And I feel like that's what the walking universe has been missing. So I totally get it. You know, I think if you come to Lenny James with something like that, He's going to want to do it because he's going to want to put Morgan in a situation like that. I think he just wants the character to evolve. And I feel like for us fans, it makes a lot of sense, right? So, yeah, overall, I I totally get this. If this is the end for the character, um, then I hope that the story is just really great. And I hope it's a satisfying conclusion um, based off of just sort of the, the stuff that we know about fear so far. You know, like with the writing on the walls, I see red and the clear and all that. I, I feel like they're going in a really great direction with it. So I'll we'll have to wait and see. But yeah, I just I want more of these spinoffs, to be honest. Like, I really liked the fear premiere. It wasn't like an amazing, like a, a crazy episode or anything like that. It, it was a solid episode. I just keep saying it was a solid episode because it really did just like it set up the story perfectly. It did what a premiere should do. And yeah, but while I do say that, I also look at the Dead City trailer and I'm like, I don't know, that show, like that show just looks like it's so much better. Like the, it's just a tier above Fear the Walking Dead, you know, many tiers. Like I would say Dead City is honestly just based off of the trailer anyways, and obviously like like the episodes maybe come out differently. I don't know. But based off of the trailer, that show looks like it's going to be way better. Could it be the best season of The Walking Dead that we've gotten? Like, I'm just mean Walking Dead universe in general that we've gotten since like season five or six of The Walking Dead. Because like, I'm trying to think like, if you just look at the trailer, you have the running zombies, the city environment, you know, the mutated walkers and stuff like it just looks so cool. Maggie kind of looks like Jill Valentine a little bit from Resident Evil. The Walking Dead, again, just hasn't excited me like this really, really in a long time. So, you know, I, I think that they have a huge hit on their hands right now. I do think, you know, the online response to that show was something that was probably very reassuring for them like that. This is the thing that they need to do. And I think they need to bring this quality of a show or this quality of storytelling to Lenny James in order for him to come back as Morgan. And I 100% agree with that. So definitely post your thoughts down below. Do you think we'll see Morgan Jones again? Hope you guys all enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.